The Death of the Author is a linguistic theory written by Roland Barthes. It questions who's the real author of a text. This could be a book, photograph or anything created that can be read by another person. It's always seemed obvious to us that an author is a person who is responsible for a particular piece of work. A writer for example, would probably claim that he or she wrote the book, and therefore they were the author. Or a photographer might say, yes I'm the author, because he or she stood there, and took the picture. This can also be applied to music, film, television. Literally anything that has been created by a conscious mind and therefore can be judged or interpreted by another person. Roland Barthes theorizes that the whole notion of authorship needs to be rethought. He argues that when a text is created it's a multifaceted manifestation of different cultures, ideas, languages, beliefs, theologies, philosophies etc. So when the writer puts their pen to paper they believe that the ideas are their own. And when the book is finalized they claim to be the author of their creation. However, the problem is that the self-proclaimed author has borrowed everything from previously existing texts that he or she has become aware of. A good example of this is music. An artist creates a track and is considered the author. However, every method and tool used to create the track has come from pre-existing ideas interwoven into something apparently completely new and unseen. This is the same for pieces of writing. Every word used by the writer is already in existence. These words on their own already have meaning derived from earlier cultures and human expression. So when we evaluate texts we tend to focus on the author, their ideas, methods beliefs and ideologies. However, as explained, none of the author's ideas are their own and probably belong to no one in particular. That being said, if it's not the author we should be looking towards to understand art, then where should we turn? If the author is irrelevant, what gives such power to the text? What allows it to have such incredible purpose when we read or gaze upon it? Roland Barthes believes that we should look inside ourselves for the ultimate author. We author the world, art, film, photography etc. through our own interpretations and belief systems. We ourselves ultimately decide what a text means, therefore creating new ideas and meanings in our mind. The meaning of the text can only exist when interpreted, and anything can be interpreted in infinite amount of different ways. Theoretically if a dog was to run around a beach and create a pattern that somehow represented something distinguishable to us, how could the dog be the author of nothing more than a few lines in the sand? However to me these are much more than lines in the sand. I am creating my own connotational meaning based on my own experiences in life. Clearly this is a smiley face but without interpretation it's just a meaningless symbol waiting to be deciphered. It's in the mind of the reader where the idea comes to life. We are the authors of our own texts based on books, photographs, symbols and teachings of others.